welcome to mindful movement for your core if you have not done the core workout at the beginning of this series please make sure you go back and do that first we have to have your breath work down and some of those foundational core movements before we can progress into some of these movements um, which is why if you've jumped into a core workout before you probably only felt it in your hip flexors so if you've done that one and you've been working on it and you're ready to progress then grab um, a mat and a water bottle and let's get started we're gonna actually start on hands and knees so let's do a few cat cow, kind of get your spine warmed up, a little core activation. Get your breathing, breathing down to the pelvic floor. You only go with what's comfortable. So if you find that one direction is not comfortable for you, then go neutral down to whatever direction is comfortable. If you can do the full range, then great. I'll do about 10 of these. Breathing in as we go down, go out as you come up, a little core engagement at the top. So with core, we're not, we're not sucking, we're not clenching, just bringing awareness to the core. And this little break. We're gonna go straight into a bird dog. So you're gonna come up. I'm doing fists just cause it's more comfortable. <laughs> I lost my dog and she's happily rolling around in the dirt, <laughs> living the life. Okay, so you're gonna take one, first start with your shoulders. So up around, it's forward, shoulders engaged. You're gonna take one leg, lengthen it back, both arms down and breathe. So what we don't want is too high and we don't want a rotation of the pelvis. So if you have headlights on your pelvis, it should be facing directly down. And then this top leg is lengthening back heel, length, lengthen back with your heel and then breathe. And then we're gonna go to the other side. I'm on a little bit of a hill, so this is kinda tough. Okay, so start with the shoulders. Make sure you're not sinking in. Actively press away, lengthen the other leg back, and breathe. Take a break. We're gonna do the same thing with your arms. So, start with that neutral position. One arm up and breathe. Keep the arm that's still down actively pressing away. Thumb up towards the ceiling. Your shoulder blades are just as much of your core as your abdominals <clears throat> and switch. If your elbows hyperextend, just be cautious of that. All right, that's level one. <clears throat> For the next set, you have the option to do just legs or just arms. If you're feeling real crazy, you can do both. Don't tip over. Please focus on form over progressions. It's not a competition. Arm up and opposite leg back and hold and breathe. <clears throat> We're lengthening forward and back. We're not arching here, right? And switch. Start with one, add the other if you're ready for it. Break. Whatever you need 
to do in the between to decompress is fine. <clears throat> you got one more of either just legs, just arms, or both. I lost my dog again. Do it again. One arm, one leg, or just arms, just legs. Breathe. Like three-ish breaths, in and out, and then switch. All right, whatever you need to do, we're gonna give your wrists a little break. <laughs> we're gonna go to your side. Uh, bottom knee bent about 45 degrees, elbow directly under your shoulder. You're gonna push this bottom knee into the ground as hard as you can until you come up into a side plank, modified. So this bottom hip is doing more of the work. I don't want you arching at your side. Focus on the leg. Hip forward a little bit. And then you're just going to push and hold. This bottom hip should be quivering a little bit. And then take a break. Cool. And we're going to do it again. That's level one. Let's see. Here. Push that bottom knee. The advanced level would be adding an abduction with it. That's a good burner. Or you can just hold it. At least 10 seconds. And take a break. All right, my arm's killing me. Callie, come back. Callie. Whoo. She's chasing the goats. We're gonna go to the other side. Elbow, knee 45, push that bottom knee into the ground and hold. Top uh, foot can stay down just to help with balance, but the bottom leg's doing more of the work. You could let it float if you're being, looking for an advanced exercise. And then take a break. So if you haven't noticed, I don't always necessarily give you a very specific number or a specific amount of time to hold because I want you to be able to focus on what your body needs. And if I give you an external amount, sometimes we see it as a competition and that we have to do it. And then it's not always in our best interest. Um, so what I hold might be a little different than what you hold and that's okay. Um, we're just kind of going for a general range between 10 and 30 seconds for when we're holding exercises. Let's do that one again. I'm going to do some leg lifts, keeping that bottom knee pressed into the ground. I'm going to go for 10 and take a break. All right. So we're going to finish on your back. We're going to go through our five levels from last time. Much slower though, so breathe in and out, down through the pelvic floor. We're gonna add to it, breathe in. As you blow out, lift your knee, lift your foot up to a 90 degree level. And we're alternating. The more we do, you can gradually lower that leg. Until you find where you're focusing on the core. A 
little break. We're gonna hold at the top. One leg up, toe up. We got a 90 degree angle, both sides and breathe. little break it's funny because my whenever I work core my shoulder blades like kill me all right next one is a half dead bug again if you start feeling the exercises in your back or you find yourself holding your breath or just your hip flexors taking over then um, go back a level I'm gonna just keep going up levels so that you have options. We're gonna start from the top. We're going to breathe in as you go down. Your low back is not forced to the ground, but it's also not like crazy arched. Stick with your natural curvature for your low back. Take a break. If you feel like a snapping sensation in the front of your hip, uh, it's harmless, but I know it's annoying. So it's a good tended rubbing over group. All right, next one. Arms involved as well. Arms up, legs up, shoulders set before we start. One leg goes down, opposite arm comes up. Back to neutral. Switch, back to neutral. Take a break. Whew. I'm just gonna do a little set of bridges. I just feel like we've done a lot of flexion based. My body just really wants to go into extension. Start pressing through your feet. then hold at the top and one two three don't hold your breath four keep pushing your feet into the ground five six seven we're going to ten eight nine and ten take a break Whew. All right, take your time getting up, grab some water, and thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow.